overnight. One person is in custody this morning after attempting to run over an Elmwood Park police officer, then leading them on a chase that ended on the northwest side of Chicago. CBS 2's V Wynn is live at the Elmwood Park Police Department with the latest details for us. Hi, V. Good morning, Marissa and Aaron. We heard from the Elmwood Park Police Chief this morning. He tells me that one of the two, one of two of his officers opened fire three times when the suspect tried to run them over with his car. Um, we are told this happened during a felony traffic stop at Harlem and Grant. The police chief tells me that this car was wanted in connection for fleeing and eluding from Franklin Park Police. Now, one witness captured the moments the, those gunshots were fired. Tim Nutter, Tim Nutter heard at least one gunshot and had to duck for cover in his car. Police say from there the suspect took off in his car and headed to Belmont and Harlem. He smashed his car into a pole and park bench as he was trying to turn. From there, police say the suspect pulled over at Barry and Nottingham. You can see at least one bullet hole in front and damage to the suspect's car. He was taken into custody and charges are now pending this morning. Now, the Elmwood Park officers involved in this incident, the two officers, um, they are okay. They were not hurt. The police chief tells me that they do not have any body cams. The officers do not wear body cams, but they do have dash cam video. And right now they are in the process of reviewing that video. The chief tells me that they are still in the early stages of this investigation. Reporting live from Elmwood Park, V1 CBS 2 News. Back to you. All right, V, thank you.